Hi, I'm Doug Rex, Director of Endoscopy at Indiana University Hospital in Indianapolis. The background for this study is the increasing use of monitored anesthesia care in the United States and around the world, essentially uh, the use of propofol for endoscopy by anesthesia specialists such as anesthesiologists and certified registered nurse anesthetists or CRNAs. Uh, the main downside of using these anesthesia specialists is the high cost of administration of sedation when they are involved in procedures. An alternative approach to MAC uh, is for endoscopists to direct registered nurses who are specifically trained in the administration of propofol. And the advantage of that is uh, that there's not a separate bill generated for monitored anesthesia care, and so there could be a significant cost reduction. Obviously, there have been safety concerns uh, from some, and so the focus of the study was to summarize the available safety data on endoscopist-directed propofol. So we conducted a survey of the literature in which we were able to identify about 220,000 plus already published cases, and then we enlisted 28 centers, 17 in the United States and 11 from around the world, really every continent except Africa was uh, represented. And um, these are centers who had prospectively collected data on the safety of the administration of propofol when there was no anesthesia specialist involved uh, in the case. And we found uh, around 427,000 of these cases that had not been previously published. The total number of cases that we identified was 646,000 plus, and there were 11 cases that required endotracheal intubation. There were no cases resulting in permanent neurologic sequelae, and there were four deaths, all of which occurred during upper endoscopic procedures in patients with ASA classes of three or higher, specifically two patients with metastatic pancreatic cancer, a patient with severe mental retardation, and a patient who had a severe uh, cardiomyopathy secondary to alcohol, and also had some substance abuse that wasn't um, known to the endoscopist at the time of the procedure. In order to get a sense of uh, what the cost effectiveness of using anesthesia specialists for these cases would have been, we conducted a sort of back of the envelope analysis. And assuming that anesthesia specialists would have been able to prevent these four deaths, and that in the 646,000 cases there would not have been any other deaths as a result of involvement of an anesthesia specialist or uh, in those cases, we found that the estimated cost per life year saved of substituting anesthesia specialists for endoscopist delivered propofol in these cases would be about $5.3 million, and that the cost would have to get down to around $2.70 per case, uh, up to $4 or $5.40 per case for the cost to reach the sort of accepted threshold of fifty dollars to $100,000 per life year saved. And we were, when we performed various sensitivity analyses, assuming that all of the patients would have lived, lived to an age of 85 um, and assuming perhaps that the anesthesia specialists were only involved in uh, cases of AS3, ASA class 3 or higher, uh, still using anesthesia specialists would not have been cost effective. Uh, when we had data available on rates of uh, bag mass ventilation, which was for most of the cases, it appeared to be about one in a thousand. When we had procedure specific, that is upper versus lower endoscopy rates of bag mass ventilation, it looked like the rates of bag mass ventilation were about 10 times higher for upper endoscopy than for colonoscopy. So all in all, the study provides a very large database that uh, indicates that clearly endoscopist directed propofol is safe when uh, the endoscopist and the nurses that they're working with are trained. Um, in fact, it's safer than the published safety record for endoscopists delivering opioids and benzodiazepines. And in fact, it equals the safety record of anesthesia specialists doing general anesthesia. And we really can't compare it to MAC because there's really no published data on the safety of MAC uh, for any type of procedure. Uh, so endoscopist directed propofol appears to be on very firm footing now with regard uh, to safety. I want to thank my 35 co-authors on the paper uh, for their cooperation and support in providing uh, data and for their uh, dedication to this uh, principle of providing cost-effective sedation for endoscopy. Thank you very much.